Welcome back to Intro to HACCP. Today's lesson is Prerequisite Programs. The theme is Keeping the Food Processing Environment Wholesome. The learning outcomes I want you to get out of this lesson are to be able to define prerequisite programs and then compare and contrast good manufacturing practices and sanitation standard operating procedures. Then I want you to be able to outline the location of prerequisite program requirements in the Code of Federal Regulation. But first, let's recap on what we talked about last lesson as we were introducing HACCP systems. We talked about hazards. We talked about the three things that a HACCP system does with hazards. What were they? Take a minute to see if you can remember. If you said identify, evaluate, and control, then you remembered correctly. Today we're going to talk about that control part. All hazards are either controlled by prerequisite programs or critical control points. Let's start with the formal definition of prerequisite programs. Prerequisite programs are procedures, including good manufacturing practices, that address operational conditions providing the foundation for the HACCP system. As such, prerequisite programs are primarily concerned with the wholesomeness and suitability of the food for consumption and the suitability of the plant environment to provide some wholesome foods. Pretty simple, right? I want to give you a few minutes to think of some examples of what you think are prerequisite programs. I already gave you two examples, good manufacturing practices and sanitation standard operating procedures. But go ahead and try to think of some more that you think fall under the definition of prerequisite programs. Okay, some examples are building and equipment design, pest control, personal hygiene, operator training, preventative maintenance, waste management, supplier assurance of raw material control, good laboratory practices, calibration of instruments in a lab, and good manufacturing practices. Next, we need to consider where these are located in the Code of Federal Regulations. So let's have a discussion about the CFRs. The Code of Federal Regulations is the codification of the general and permanent rules published in the Federal Register by the executive departments and agencies of the federal government. It is divided into many titles that represent broad areas subject to federal regulation. Each volume of the Code of Federal Regulations is updated once each calendar year and is issued on a quarterly basis. Each title is divided into chapters which usually bear the name of the issuing agency. Each chapter is further subdivided into parts that cover specific regulatory areas. Large parts may be subdivided into subparts. All parts are organized into sections and most citations in the Code of Federal Regulations are provided at the section level. Prerequisite program requirements are listed in several places within the Code of Federal Regulations as good manufacturing practices and sanitation standard operating procedures. 
The food safety and inspection services rules for meat and poultry products are listed in Title IX. And the Food and Drug Administration's rules for food products are listed in Title 21. Within Title 21, prerequisite programs are discussed in Section 110 for good manufacturing practices. Section 120 for juice products. and Section 123 for fish and fishery products. These requirements can be quite confusing for several reasons. First, they're listed under different sections and headings. Also, each section describes certain requirements in more detail than others. Employee hygiene is a good example of this. Another confusing part is the difference between good manufacturing practices sanitation and sanitation standard operating procedures. It is also difficult to differentiate whether these prerequisite programs need to be written or not, and exactly how these prerequisite programs should be coordinated by management within a food processing operation.